Hey guys, Ryan here. This is a quick tutorial of some nature uh, for my friend Werwood. He asked me how, or what was it he asked me? He asked me, um, what's the best way to um, avoid color loss or something to that effect? So I'm going to show you how I personally avoid color loss. So let me take an image from my wallpaper gallery, Colorful Universe. It's pretty big. I don't want to work with that. So I'm just going to shrink it down to moving size. Okay, so this has a crap load of color. Reds, blues, greens, yellows, purples, blacks. Everywhere. Um, so, now, and the way I, I do it is, uh, well, there's many ways you can do it. First, you can either go to image or other um, options. And you can just go to decrease color depth to 256. This will work. And in uh, Paint Shop, it gives you the options here, and you can just pick them and see which one looks best. Um, as you can see, this is kind of uh, pixelated, kind of meshy. Uh, this one is it's more smoother, but it looks worse. Medium Cut looks pretty okay. Uh, same thing with Error Diffusion. Um, standard Web Save, I, I do not recommend at all. Like, say maybe back in like the early 90s, this would be perfectly fine. You know, this would be acceptable. But nowadays, you, this is not acceptable. So I prefer Optimize Octree and a uh, Error Diffusion to look the best. However, you know, when you do it this way, and you can see the palette here, when you do it this way and you save it, uh, and then you open it up, there's a problem. The problem is Paint Shop will automatically pick a alpha color for you. The alpha color will be whatever color it could be. So in this case it's this color. So if I put green that's my alpha color. And you know this these colors are not going to show. So what you can do to fix this is take the you know a color select tool. I'm using iDraw. This is my um, own personal use program. It's it's free. You can just download it online anywhere. I just gotta look for it. Um, I use this, I've been using this for years, it works perfectly fine for me, other people can use whatever you want, I don't care. But you select the color, the alpha color, and then you recolor it to something else. But the problem is, it's never easy to get the exact same color, because I think this was like a, a really dark black. Yeah, this might be, you see, even this kind of green. Yeah, this is like the closest thing to it. So see, uh, there. So now the alpha color is still green, as you can see here, but it's not showing up. So then the image would be fine. However, you know, color loss is something that's hard to maintain with images like this for obvious reasons. Um, so that, that was just an ugly image, so I'm not going to save that or anything. Now let's go back to this one. Uh, so, okay, so I restored the color to it. You can see all the details and everything really smooth. Um, for animations that I use, for instance, like my uh, Goku, um, who has the Earth blowing up animation which I will show you right now if this loads there we go yeah this animation here this is a huge animation with a lot of color believe it or not there's a lot of color you got the white blue you got the grays greens reds and these are all like they fit into each other real nicely so it's a lot of color and you can see the palettes freaking out basically as I go through the frames so the easiest way to maintain this and keep a nice image size and everything would be this what I'm about to show you so first go to image go to canvas size you're gonna resize the canvas exactly to what it's gonna be what, what it currently is and you're gonna add five pixels to the height then you're gonna move the pi uh, picture up and you're gonna have your background color green I like to use green or pink or you know something bright that's not in the image so hit OK and then there'll be a green line at the bottom. Using your ink, uh, what is this? Ink drop, it, dropper tool. You're gonna left click and right click the green color. Go to image, go to palette, set palette transparency, and pick the green. Yep. Now see, it the results are the same just because this is a high color image. But I mean, from far away, it looks pretty good. Um, I believe when you use palette and set palette transparency, it'll use the recent option from decrease color depth. 
but by um, by doing it this way, I don't have to do the extra work of finding uh, the alpha color and recoloring it. It's already there. It's you know it's still there. And when I add it to Mugen, I'll just crop it so it's not there. So this is a really colorful image, which makes it hard to um, to avoid color loss. So let's try another image. Um, Here we go. Okay, this one. All right, this is just grays and blacks, and yeah, it's just gray and black. So I mean, there's nothing that will be lost in this when I convert it. So this is the same thing. And see now, see in this case, because it's all grays and blacks, if I were to just decrease the color depth like this, my alpha color would definitely be black, and that would probably be like the whole outline of it all. So I don't want to do that at all. So what I'm going to do is what I said before: increase the uh, canvas size, increase the height by uh, five pixels. You could use one even. I just felt like five because then I could easily click on it because it's hard to you know get one pixel. Do the same thing. Make it transparent. Always test proof your uh, your uh, transparency. Make sure it works nicely. And save it. And uh, when you check it in whatever program you choose to check it, there you go. See, that's the alpha color there. And I scaled the image down, that's why it looks like this. But basically, there's practically no color loss in this because it's just grays. That There cannot be any color loss in this. I also noticed with programs like uh, paint.net, you can also do pretty good um, color conversions without having color loss. Or, you know, <clears throat> at a minimum. So let's give this a shot with uh, uh, this one. Okay. See, this is it's pretty good. There's uh, lights. There's some greens, and blues, and purples going on in here. Uh, and it's a light to dark. So, I mean, that's that's a lot of shades. Now, the, let me see. The, I did this before. I forget how to do it here. So you go to... I think you go to... Where is it? Image. No. 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 Layer properties. No. Adjust. Oh, keep in mind, uh, paint.net is a free program. Oh. So it's it's good to use. I've used it a couple times. I'm still trying to learn it, but it's uh, not easy. Okay, well, I didn't do anything to this image. I just loaded the image up and went to save as. Save it as a PNG of some nature. And here, when you go to save configuration, you're given some options on depth and stuff. Why does that look like that? That looks ugly. Okay, good. So, this is that. So now let's see. So the the depth settings. This is auto detect. This is 32, 24, and 8. When you set to 8, you are allowed to convert it to a 256 color image. Now, if you mess with the deathering, the deathering, deathering, whatever you want to call this, and the transparency uh, threshold, threshold, bleh, you basically can't control how the image is going to look. So you just uh, manipulate this to the best of your ability. Okay. Okay. All right. computing there we go I mean I think this is probably the best we can get out of this because I didn't remember I didn't scale this one down so let's hit ok now let's uh, open this in iDraw and see what we get yeah it's a big uh, mush and of course the black is the alpha color so black takes takes a lot of that so closest thing to black is the next color so I'll do that here, and that's that. I mean, this image looks good considering the color loss. You probably cannot see it. Let me let me zoom in. Maybe then see all these loose pixels. This is kind of considered color loss. Um, yeah, I think if I scale it down, let me see. Fifty percent. Oh, this looks horrible. Okay, let's try this again. Magnification preserve. 
yeah if I preserve it, it looks a little bit better but it still looks pretty bad um, you know you just gotta try to avoid using um, images that have a lot of color and if you do like for instance uh, zero here this portrait of zero um, he has a lot of color he's got green red yellow uh, shiny pieces blue somewhere green eyes and the colors you can't avoid I mean this is completely unavoidable this is how it is however if you truly want to make a good portrait you will have to go over your image and simply manually go over all these details with a solid color to make it look unnoticeable and you know I personally don't have the patience for this uh, there are some people that do I do not but I mean, considering the color loss and removing the background, this image came out pretty well. Um, another image, uh, like this one, uh, this is simple actually. Uh, there is some color loss in his yellow, because it's more vibrant than in the actual image. But due to conversion, I I, um, I forget which one I used, but uh, it made it look nice. It's kind of smudged it instead of like pixelated it really. And since he is like very simple colors, yellow to orange, blue to black, it, it's just so much easier to convert him and not worry about color loss. Um, Princess Peach, it, she's also very simple. She has some blue, dark blue, yellow, dark yellow, uh, pink, darker, darker pink, and probably the red crown is the only thing right there. <clears throat> so, that, I mean, that's. Oh, I missed something here. What's this? There. Okay. Wow, that's pretty bad. Okay, anyways, um, that does look really bad, holy shit. Okay, so, Peach was easy. This guy, he was kind of hard because he had so many colors on him. But even with the color loss and everything, it, it still managed to look good in the end. Uh, Kenshiro also has color loss like crazy. And see, the alpha color, which is white, is also the same color as in his armor for the sheen. So, the well, easiest thing to do would be to spot check and find something close to white. I think this is it. Nah, I mean, it'll do. See? As soon as I go over the parts that need the white. Why are they drawing him like this? It's only colors. I'll do that later. But yeah, that's basically how you do it. So, in short, I'll just show you again quickly. All you have to do is I lock my folder. All you have to do is take an image. Um, let me resize it. You take the image, then you increase canvas size, increase the height by 5, um, move the image up, pick your alpha color. Uh, green is not best for this. Let's use pink. Okay, then you double uh, the dropper tool, left click, right click the uh, alpha color you want, go to palette, set palette transparency, and that. Prove it. Let me see, this image is interesting. I think I can get a better result with nearest color. No, that's horrible. Yeah, definitely use the other one. Proof it and that's it. You just save it and mirror image is 256 color. Ready to use. Mugen wise, yeah. Done. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.